Jennings Gresham baseline filming. Jennings Gresham. Okay, we're live. We are live, right? Okay. All right, Jennings. Okay, so there's a lot to like in your setup. I like the 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 alignment of the spine, with the exception of the neck. We think your neck bite might be a little bit dipped, and that takes off some of your leverage on the front end to counterbalance your rear. Okay. Um, Coming in, definitely given your size and growth, I think you're a bit too narrow. You, you've got that stance way closed down. You got big wide shoulders. You got big legs. And you're really kind of fighting to get that ball down through your legs and past your body. So you're blocking yourself, basically. We need to widen out that stance some. And you might want to try toes out and heels in slightly because that helps you when you sit down and push the knees over the toes to maximize space here without getting so wide that you get tension in your hips or something like that, which is counterproductive, as you know, OK? Um, you're a little bit flat-footed, which means you've got a little bit too much weight back in the stance. And the, and the big signal for that is where are your knees in relation to your toes. We want to try to position those knees right over the toes. That, that to us, is a pretty optimized stance thing. We want weight on the balls of the feet, but the heels contacting the ground. It's kind of like a race car. You want maximum contact patch of the tire for grip, right? Same kind of thing, OK? Uh, we have a balanced, neutral two-point stance for snapping versus a three-point weight forward bias because we have to accelerate a ball back between our legs. We don't need to fire off across the line in this particular skill. Um, the other comment that we had is maybe your wrist for your throwing hand is a little too cocked. And we'll try to unwind that a little bit and play around because you also, with your guide arm or guide hand, you're kind of stiff arming the ball and it's jamming your shoulder in the air plus the stiff joint is going to slow you down and weaken the throw coming down and through. You can't really use that second hand for acceleration and control based on that setup, okay? So we're going to work on all of those things. The last comment I had, of course, about the neck being dipped. This center of gravity is about your belly button, so these shorter, heavier haunches have to be counterbalanced by this longer, lighter front end, your lungs, your brain. It doesn't weigh as much as what's back here. And so it needs to be well extended away from your your midpoint on your center of gravity. Think of a teeter-totter. Uh, otherwise, you're not counterbalancing effectively. And if you dip your neck down, you're cutting off about 25% of your upper spine that's used for leverage against that back end. So the way, to, the, way the, the way to fix that is when you're setting up, just tuck your chin to your chest. And if you have to lower your head a little to see, you can do that. Or if you're starting from where you were, just pull your neck up a little bit. Don't do it so much that you create tightness and tension. That's going to be overdoing it, and that's going to tighten you up and slow you down, okay? So first of all, face the camera. Let's take a look at your new stance width, because I think you made a ton of progress before lunchtime. Go ahead and sit into it. Reach out and grab the ball. Does that feel comfortable? You never want to be so wide that you got tension in the hips. You want load bearing solidly on the quads. That looks really good. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Rotate towards your punter. Set a ball up. The next thing we're going to do, earlier I was saying I thought we needed to elevate your head to tail platform, but I don't think so. I think what we need to do is we simply need to shift weight forward. You're a little overstretched on the field. You've got the ball a little far out. It tends to pull weight forward, so you're hunkering back flat-footed. You're overstretched. We're going to raise your, your legs up a little bit and bring you closer towards the ball find balance and then just determine if we need to slide the ball a little further or closer, okay? First thing we're going to do is three-step it, try and document a really good setup, okay? And then we'll try to adjust. Okay. Go ahead. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to pull you forward, lean on the ball. That gets knee bend to 90 degrees or less, straightens the back, fully extends the arms. I'm going to raise you up, maximizing operating room under the torso. Then I'm going to push you back into the hips towards your target. So your heels touch the ground, knees are over toes, and you're solid. You're big and aggressive and solid in the stance. How does that feel? Yeah. Let her rip. That was great. Now, let's take a look at that wrist real quickly and see what your wrist cock is. Okay. Now, let go with this hand, pick the ball up, and hold it upside down. Hold the ball upside down. Is that enough grip? Yeah, you got big hands. Okay. I might do what I would call strengthen the grip slightly. Go ahead and grip it by spreading that thumb a little bit wider. See if that feels better and you can throw harder. Okay? Moving Try that. Uh, moving it that way on the ball. Okay. A little more opposed to the other part, okay. fingers of the, the other, to the fingers, sorry. Okay. 
Okay, my son always points out that thumbs aren't fingers. So, okay. Now, you don't have to be 90 degrees where that stretches and pulls you. Somewhere between there and there is going to be a really happy point. You really want to rotate those thumbs to the sky and snap it hard at the release, okay? You've made a lot of corrections already. Let's go ahead and whip a ball before you're down too long. That looked awesome. How'd it feel? Okay. Let's do one more. Now, I think you've corrected your neck being dipped too, right? I don't think I need to micromanage that at this point, okay? Um, there's a thing called TV drills where you can practice tossing the ball and figure out how much you want your wrist cock. But that is a big, solid stance right now that I like a whole lot. Um, and that is one of the best balls you've thrown all day. You comfortable with those adjustments? Yeah, I like it. Okay, any questions? I don't think so. Okay, let's stop that case and you're up. Uh, That's your stance a little bit, right? Yeah. Worked on balance. Got your head to tail platform right. The next thing I'd like to see out of you is you just getting a lot more aggressive, throwing it hard. Let's go. Not bad. How'd that feel? All right. That's pretty good. All right. Might be a little fatigued. Try to use your whole body on this snap, okay? Not just your arms. Try to use everything from the tip of your toes on down. There it is. Feel good?